are lots of tensions, right? There is features that get you quick wins versus features that differentiate, like copy features versus features that differentiate. There are features for current customers versus features that will get you new revenue. There is how much should you launch versus how much should you spend on making sure your platform is stable. There's how much should you spend on making sure your platform is stable versus how much should you spend on making sure your platform has the latest tech. Because while you may not see the benefits today, there'll be benefits tomorrow. There is, should you build for to close that next deal, but it's only for this one customer versus should you build for the masses? When have you done enough? When do you switch? You start with an MVP, you develop it, but when do you go, okay, I'm now going to thin out this team and move people over to this other team because this product is reaching more maturity, whether it's from any of the angles I mentioned, whether it's infra, whether it's newness of tech, whether it's customer facing features, right? So I think those are the big tensions. And then I think how do you listen to all the different cohorts to your point? Marketing wants something different. Sales wants something different. Engineering, I think most good, because if you're a PM, you really, and this is my belief, right? You and your CTO should be able to spend, step into each other's shoes. And that's what makes the best partnerships. And really, you can't say a CPO is not responsible for stability or the newness of the tech because they won't, eventually in a year, they won't get what they need, right? Like you're not building for customers where things go down all the time. So I think that's less of an issue. And then, so I think, yeah, I think there are a number of different tensions you have to balance in a number of constituents.